My mum and my aunt are artists, so I grew up around, around art really. It's always been sort of something that I've contemplated, but because I could see how hard it is, the life of an artist, it put me off and I wanted to do something more sensible originally so that I could have a steady paycheck and all of that kind of stuff. My name's Rebecca Fontaine Wolf and I'm a painter. I grew up in Munich. After doing the BA, after I didn't have a studio anymore, I decided, right, I'm going to be an artist. Since childhood, I've been drawing kind of mythological female characters and trying out what female identity was by drawing like different characters. And it's kind of evolved through that. And it's quite a sort of a very personal kind of viewpoint and journey as well. For me, portraiture is one of the most exciting genres in art because you can connect with it as a viewer in a way that you can't with other genres, like with landscape or with abstract. You know, you can build a relationship with another person through portraiture, through paint on a canvas, through pigment on a canvas, but you can sort of suspend that disbelief. For me, there's something quite magical about it. Also, my father died when I was very young, and um, we had pictures of him in the house, obviously, and those pictures kind of took on like a really, really important quality for me because they were my contact point towards him. And I think it's from that as well that just the power that images have, its ability to kind of stop time and to hold on to a moment is just something that has stayed with me. And I think that that's something really powerful in portraiture. My family is quite matriarchal. You know, my father died when I was younger. My great grandfathers had died, but my grandmothers were alive. My mother has sisters. So it was very female centric, my whole family. And I think that has also kind of led to me being so interested in female identity. Like that's my home. That mortality, like female identity and mortality, those, those themes come from my starting point in life and just have kind of carried through to now. Each series that I work on, each body of work, differs from the one before. It kind of gives me a chance to sort of experiment with slightly different mediums, different colors. Generally, it happens organically. It just happens that I'm sort of drawn to certain colors, color palette at a certain period. Usually the background will be quite abstract. There will be certain marks that almost indicate the figure that I'm going to paint and I can see the figure sort of rising out of the background already a little bit. It's almost like a um, synchronicity and kind of just have to learn to go with it. Some friends still tease me sometimes, you know, when are you gonna get a proper job? When I started after uni, it wasn't that big a difference because everybody had been students and everyone was on a level playing field, but as time has gone on, it's become more and more evident, that big wealth gap, financial gap. It's a constant thing on my mind, whether I'm gonna stay in London or not, whether I can afford to stay in London or not. How can I continue what I'm doing and survive? That's a constant thing at the back of my mind. But I also know a lot of creative people and that really helps. Having a community of people who, who are pursuing similar, similar goals. So that's one way of dealing with it. One of the most amazing things is seeing how paintings come to life and evolve through the viewer. So I want to evoke feeling, really. That's what I want to evoke with my paintings. I want to evoke some kind of response that possibly you don't even know what it is that you're feeling, but it's, it's rousing something within you. That's really what I'm trying to create with my art.